Hi, I'm Linda from Barlavi's Body Blitz. Welcome to Body Weight Basics Mat Workout. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. If you want to advance any of the exercises, you could put on some light ankle weights or maybe a resistance loop above the knees, and you could even hold on to some very light dumbbells for some of the exercises, but I'll be demonstrating without. We're going to be doing 20 rounds of 70 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. So it is going to be a basic in the sense that it's easy to follow, but it is not basic in the sense that it's a really true beginner's workout. So if you are a true beginner, you can still tackle this workout. You might not just want to do a little bit shorter interval, take rests when you need to, or you can also follow my easier modifications, which I will try to show throughout. So once I press start, there's not going to be any breaks, but if you need to take a break at any time, please press pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, are you ready? Starting in a kneeling position, and we're going to have our feet together and our knees apart. Now come down and push your hips to the front. So what I'm doing is coming down, sitting my butt onto my heels, and then I'm going to push my hips forward so that I'm stretching the front of my thighs. As I come down, I'm trying to lower with control. So I'm just tapping my butt and then coming up. Down and up. Try to hold your tummy in, your shoulders are down and back. And I'm just using my arms in opposition. You can do whatever you like with your arms. And you're really squeezing your glutes at the top, exaggerating that squeeze, warming up all through your quads, your glutes, your hips, your hamstrings, getting everything nice and warm. Push all the way up, blow out on the up, 21 seconds to go. Down and up. Try not to lean too far forward as you go back. You want to feel the front of your thighs engaging here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring our legs completely together. We're going to come down, extend, come up, come down on the other side, extend. Try not to use your hands. Tummy's in, go now. Down, extend, come up, squeeze, down, extend now if you need to help yourself up you can do that with this hand here help yourself up and then use it on the other side but if you can try to you can even cross your hands in front and keep them out of the way try to come up squeeze your glutes and then come down again so you're shifting your heels out of the way each time so that you can sit down comfortably on the mat and then you're extending that leg with your kneecap pointing towards the front. Really nice pointed toe and lengthening out your entire leg. If I ever go too fast for you, then just slow it down. That's the beauty of interval workouts. You can make them your own and go at your own pace. Down and up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. The higher you lift your leg, the more you're going to engage your oblique area here as well. So you should be able to feel that crunching. Three, two, and one. Nice job. So coming into a, a plank position with your hands underneath your shoulders. Now come into a rocket, so you're going down, shooting forward, then lifting one leg. Again, it's back to the front, lift the other leg. So your tummies are in, you're coming into that perfect plank each time, and then you're lifting your heel up to the ceiling, really squeezing through the glute. So it's down, forward, and up. All the way back, shoot forward, and up. Trying to keep your hips looking down towards the mat, and looking in front of you, keeping your neck in nice alignment with your spine, and up. It's down, forward, and up. So your body should be nice and warm now, which means you can lift higher here, and you can sink lower here, and also feeling your arms there, your shoulders. Forward, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the next one we're going to come into down dog and we're gonna bring our leg in front, 
in a kind of angle position. So come into a down dog, bring your leg up and through, kind of angled, and then we're gonna raise the back leg. Bring it back through, it's up, it's through on an angle, as if you're about to do a pigeon stretch, then raise the back leg. Up, it's through, and forward. So as you raise the back leg, you're going to come into almost like a triceps push-up, okay? So keep your elbows in by your side, triceps push-up. So you're resting your weight on your shin, on your front shin, and you're really squeezing your glutes at the top on both sides. So it's up, forward, and squeeze. Nice, long, straight legs. Tummies in and up. All the way up. Feeling the back of your arms by really letting your weight drop into your arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. And one. Nice job. So just before we move on to the other side, we're going to do another down dog, but this time we're going to plant our foot next to this hand. So come down. It's up and it's forward, up on your toe, and it's a push-up. Then it's back up, it's forward, it's push-up. So adjust your hands to the width of your mat, mat so that you can feel your chest engaging in that push-up. Your leg is on its toe, but if you find that too awkward, you can place it down like this. And if you find this too hard, you can come back down on your back knee, okay? So that's your options. This is a dynamic stretch as well as strengthening exercise. Come down with that chest. It's up, down, up. Keep breathing. Blow out as you do that push-up. Get your leg as high as you can in that down dog. Forward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're doing the same thing to the other side. So we're starting off with that first exercise. So we're gonna come into down dog. We're gonna bring our leg in front like a pigeon. We're gonna come up with the back leg. So you need to bring your arms closer together again and your elbows want to be facing towards the back of the room, okay? Don't let them flare. So it's up, it's forward on an angle as if you're gonna do a pigeon stretch, okay? Forward on an angle and then down. Up and squeeze the glute at the back. 33. So you should feel a stretch in this front leg, in the outer thigh. It's up, forward, raise the back leg. 17, 16. Lots of repetition so you can really perfect your form. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one nice job now we're doing that other one where we're going to come into the down dog and plant our foot next to our hand so come into the down dog butt is in the air raise that leg come to the front on your toe if you can widen your arms and it's push up so it's up front down it's up front down Remember your options. If you prefer a flat foot, then do that. And if you're finding this push-up too hard, come down on your knee. Okay, so you've got options here. And down. Your back leg is really nice and straight. As you do that push-up, you want to feel a bit of a stretch in that entire leg, especially the front. This whole mat workout has an element of stretching to it that will lengthen your muscles. 20 seconds to go. You're breathing out as you push up. 
Up, forward, down, up. 10 seconds. Hold your tummies in to protect your back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So now we're coming into a pretzel position where the front thigh is lined up with the front and the back is in line with your hip. Okay, you're gonna put your hands here. You're gonna come up. You're gonna extend both legs. You're gonna come down. Lift the back leg twice. Push up, extend, in, down. Raise it twice. Up, extend, in, down. Try to raise it really high and keep your thigh behind your hip line each time. Up and up. Tummies are in. It's up, extend, and down. Now, if that extension is just too much, why don't you just extend the back leg and let your weight fall onto this hand, okay? Or you could extend the front leg. Up to you. Up and up. 22 seconds. It's up, extend. You're holding for that split second as you extend. Up and up. It's up, extend, in, down. Up and up. Nine seconds. Up, extend, in and down. Up and up. Up, extend, in and down. Up and up. Okay. Now we're going to come, I'll turn, onto our back into a tricep dip position. So come up, you're gonna do a tricep dip, then you're gonna extend your leg out and up. Now you've got the option of keeping your leg up. Out and up. If you don't want to keep the leg up, out and up. You can bring it back down here. One and two, out and up, one and two. So you're turning your leg and then turning your kneecap to the ceiling. One and two, kneecap front, kneecap ceiling. 30 seconds and two, kneecap front, kneecap ceiling. One and two, kneecap front, kneecap ceiling. 20 seconds, one and two. Make sure your elbows are going directly to the back. And two, if you need a break, sit down on your butt for a second and then come back up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, same thing other side, starting with the pretzel. So line up your front shin with the mat, back leg in line with your hip, deep breath in. Now it's up with both legs, extend, come in, down, two ups, one, two. It's up, extend, in and down, one, two. Try to keep that leg behind your hip line, okay? It's really important. Tummies are in, relax through your shoulders, and as those legs come up, they're making a complete L shape here, okay? So it's here, when they're out, it's an L shape. And down, 35, up. Squeeze that muffin top area. It's forward, in and down. It's up and up. You wanna go high there. It's forward, in and down. 20 seconds and up. Don't let your back leg creep forward. Keep it back, turn your hip to the front. Up and up, 10 seconds. It's up, extend, in, down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay? So back to those triceps dips. You need to keep your elbows to the back here. Back, hands by your butt, come up. So it's two triceps dips, then it's sweep to the front, and then up, down. One, two, it's forward, up, down. Remember your options. Two, it's forward, up, down. It's one, it's two, it's forward, up, down. You can even go like this. One and two, to the front, up, down. One and two, don't slouch in your shoulders. 
each time you do those tricep steps, you push out of the shoulder before you lift your legs. It's one and two, 27 seconds. Up, down, point your toe, squeeze your leg. Forward, up, down, 18. It's one, it's two, it's forward, up, down. Come on, 10 seconds, forward, up, down. Keep going to the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, so now we're going to come into a side plank position. We're gonna bring one leg over. Make sure your shoulder and wrist are aligned. This leg is in front. We're gonna come over, crunch our elbow in as we dip our hip twice. Put our hand down and leg in one, two, extend back down. Over, one, two, come down, extend, one, two, extend, back in. Over, one, dip down, two. Nice side plank, in, extend, in, extend, back in. This is the right angle. So it's one, two. Don't worry if you're going slower than me. I want perfect form. Extend, then back in. Over, one, two. If you can't do this, you can come down on your other leg here and go like this. One, two, and then come in like this. One, two, okay? So that's your option. One, two, and this is the last one. In and in. We're gonna do the same thing other side. Okay, so remember your options, just stay down on your back knee. So, come forward, it's over. One, two, bring your hand down, it's extend one, elbow to, knee to elbow, then extend front. Over, one, dip down, two, come, hands meet, and it's in one, two, extend, back in front, it's over, one, dip low, two, so you're really squeezing your knee in here, one, two, extend out, bring it back to the front, over, one, two, it's in knee, and knee, extend and down, over, 22 seconds, two, it's out, in, in, extend, down, over, 10 seconds. This is awesome for the arms as well. It's in, it's in, it's out, and last time, one, two. Nice job. Okay, let's get some abs involved. Oh, we want to extend our legs. We're gonna come down. Our legs are gonna be slightly bent. We're gonna come up, bring our toes together, extend out, come in, come down, up. Extend out, come in, come down, up. Extend, in, down. If you can't do this, stay up here. In, extend, in, down. In, extend, in, down. But if you can, Try to peel yourself off the mat gracefully. 32 seconds. Extend out to the side, super wide, feeling your inner thighs. Deep breaths here and down. Come on, 20 seconds. In and down. Out, in and down. Out, in and down, seven, six, out, in, and down, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're gonna do a slightly more cardio-driven exercise. We're gonna come into a plank position. Come forward, bring your knee in, back, back. Forward, bring your knee in, back, back. Forward, kick through, back, back. Forward, kick through, Back, back, go back to the knee. 
back, back, forward, knee, back, back, forward, kick through, back, back, forward, kick through, back, back. If you can't do this, stay with the knee. Just do these ones. Okay, if you can't do this kick through, stay with the knee. 40 seconds. Back, back, forward, knee, back, back, forward, knee, back, back, and kick through. Back, back, perfect plank each time. Back, back, forward, knee, back, back, forward, knee, back, back, and kick through. 19 seconds, kick through, back, back, 15, 14. Come on, getting the heart rate up, 10, 9, back, back, 8, 7, back, back, forward, knee, back, back, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do some leg raises with push-ups, nice and simple. Come into a tabletop position, bring the knee in, and as you go back, push up. So bring the knee in, squeeze. Squeezing all the way up and doing that push up on your knees, which is definitely not as hard as doing a normal push up. So you really want to focus on putting the weight into your arms. 45, in, extend. 39, come on. Try to extend really nice and long. Squeeze that glute at the top. 30, 29. Come on, up, in and up, squeeze. In and out, squeeze. Are you feeling your chest? 19, 18. We're gonna be merciless in these last few rounds and do lots of upper body work. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on. Blow out every time you push up. Three, two, one. Okay, same thing other side. Exactly the same thing. If you want to change your push-up, maybe do a triceps push-up this time or a wider push-up. It's up to you. Get ready. So it's in and push up as you kick out. Extend. Extend. So I've widened my stance in my arms and that's outside my mat now. But you could also do a triceps push-up, which would be a really hard one, or even a diamond push-up and maybe not go so low. A diamond push-up is where you make a diamond with your hands and your elbows flare out to the side. 40 seconds, or you wanna do triceps with your arms close by, or keep it wide like me. In and squeeze that glute. Don't focus so much on your chest that you're not squeezing your glutes. Get it up high. 25, 24, 23, 22, come on, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way up, all the way down with your chest, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, guess what, more push-ups but in a kind of semi-easier way. Lie down on your tummy, arms extended, legs extended. We're gonna do back extensions, up for two. One, two, legs for two. One, two, both for two. One, two, hands by your side, come up, come back down, extend upper body. One, two, lower body. One, two, both upper, lower. Two, hands by your side, push up, come back down, extend upper body, one, two, lower, one, two, both, up, for two, hands by your side, push up, back down, 30 seconds, upper, one, two, lower, one, two, both, one, two, hands by your sides, push up, back down, Forward, upper, for two, lower, for two, both, for two, hands by your side, push up, back down, upper for two, and we're done with this one, and two, nice job. Okay, 
we're going to do a nice back um, stretching exercise. So we're going to have our hands here. We're going to come over, reaching, come down, out and in, other side. Come down, out and in. So I like to turn my hands out, but if you prefer to turn your hands towards your hips or even behind you, some people like them all the way to the back, do whatever feels comfortable. But what I need you to focus on is your shoulder is above your wrist as you push up, out and in. So you're stretching through your back, squeezing your glutes, stretching through your inner thighs, 32. Come down, out and in, up. Squeeze those glutes, out and in, 22. Up, down, out and in. 15, 14, out and in. If you want even higher, come up on your toes. Down, out and in. Toes, down, five seconds, out and in. Last one, and out and in. Guess what? Last round. Front of thighs, and we're done. You can engage your abs, blow the air out, the hands by the side. It's forward up, forward up, forward up, forward up, hover. It's forward up, forward up, forward up, forward up, hover. It's forward up, forward up, forward up, forward up, hover. If you can't hover, put your leg down at the back. Forward up, forward up, hover. It's forward up, forward up. It's a backward bicycle. Forward up, forward up, hover. This is hard, I know. But this is the last exercise, so just do it. 30 seconds, forward up, forward up, forward up, forward up, hover. I'm not giving up, forward up, forward up, 20 seconds. Forward up, forward up, hover. Come on, 15 seconds. Forward up, forward up, hover, forward up. Last time, I think, three, four, hover. I think I've got time for one more. Two, three, four, done. Oh my goodness, that one burnt bad. Lie down on your tummy and we're gonna stretch that out. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. And as you blow out, whoo, yep, that really burns. So come up high and stretch the front of abs. Deep breaths here. So that was kind of a mat workout with a difference. We used a lot of compound moves. We were kind of all over the place. We were in plank, we were in down dog, we were in side plank, we were doing pretzels, we were doing leg raises. It was all in there. Very short workout. Well, not that short, but semi-short, but very super effective. Come over and reach over. We used our obliques quite a bit as well in those side plank moves, in the pretzel moves. So you don't need to do targeted exercises for every muscle group each time. You can actually still work all those muscles in a compound move. Come up or on the inside. You're stretching your inner thighs here. Keep that leg super straight. You can push towards the back. Then bring the leg down and you're in that V, sh in that Z shape, sorry. And just lift up, push your hips to the front and push your arm towards the back. And then just come down, over. And down and just hold on to that knee, turn towards the back. And then just bring this leg across, pull it in towards your chest, stretching out your glute. Try and stay really upright. And then switch sides, other leg out, stretching that hamstring. And now just stretch over, reaching long, stretching out the side body.
and then come in and grab your heel and just stretch up. If this is too advanced for you, you can hold on further down. Stretch up and pull towards the back, stretching out your inner thigh. And then bring your leg across and just hug that in and sit really nice and tall. Try to keep both of your butt cheeks on the mat. And then just come back into that Z position. Put your hand on your knee and turn towards the back. And then just sweep over and over. And then come up and reach towards the back and just push your hips towards the ceiling. And come down and then sit in a cross-legged position and just lean forward, stretching your glutes once more. And then switch the leg that's in front and again, Then just put your hands on your knees and push your spine towards the back, opening up the shoulder blades. And switch the hand that's on top and again. Interlace, come in front, overhead, side to side. Then interlace and pull up at the back. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Bodyweight Basics mat workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.